wine gets better as it ages. You know what else gets better as it ages? Thermal paste. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sudden depress ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Wait, that's not really a thing? Let's find out if it is. This Noctua Thermal Paste is around 8 years old. It came with the Noctua cooler which I used on my previous rig, the i5-4690K, which you've seen in some of my old videos na ginawa ko pa nung 2015. That rig and this Thermal Paste is even older than Hardware Sugar. 8 years is an eternity in computer hardware. Just for reference, yung unang GPU ko dun sa build na yun, GTX 970s, yung Ryzen series, yung pinakaunang Ryzen series 1000 came out 2017, two years after I built that PC. This thermal paste is older than the entire Ryzen line. So I kept this thermal paste in a cool, dark place, not really thinking that I would use it in a video. Wala pa kaming shop nun, let alone a YouTube channel. But here we are now, an eternity after I used it, and now this guy can help us answer the question, does thermal paste have an expiry date? To find out, we measured the performance of the 8-year-old NTH1 versus the performance of an NTH1 that we just recently opened within the past few weeks. Our test setup for this was our usual cooler test setup. So that's a Ryzen 7 5800X enclosed in a Cougar dual-face case set to mesh mode. And the torture software of choice was Cinebench R23. Now, initially, we tested using the stock cooler as we wanted a relatively subpar cooler so that any differences in the cooling performance of the thermal paste would be magnified. So, emphasis on the thermal paste rather than the cooling performance of the cooler. Starting out, the old thermal paste was noticeably thicker than the newer thermal paste, more viscous. However, when it came time to spreading it out, it spread out evenly just as easily as the newer thermal paste. It was harder though to press down on the plunger to actually extract the old thermal paste from the tube. Now using an AMD stock cooler seemed like a good idea, but unfortunately the CPU proved just too much for that stock cooler and both under the old and new thermal paste, we thermal throttled at around slightly over 90 degrees. So lesson learned, regardless of what thermal paste you're using, an AMD stock cooler is not sufficient to get the full performance out of a Ryzen 7 5800X. So back to the drawing board, we replaced a stock cooler with a deep cool AK620 with just a single fan. The new thermal paste does edge out the older one in terms of performance, but only by a very small margin. The highest temperature reached on the newer thermal paste was 77.9 degrees, but the old thermal paste really held its own with a high temp reached of 78.9 degrees, only a 1 degree difference between a thermal paste which we opened a couple of weeks ago versus one that has been opened, albeit stored properly, for around 8 years already. A 1 degree difference is within the variance or margin of error that we would expect from these kind of tests. So while there was notable improvement for the newer thermal paste, it wasn't a resounding victory. It's hard to call the new paste a clear winner. So to answer the question, does thermal paste have an expiry date? If you're using Noctua and you stored it properly, essentially the answer is no. 
You can dig out those old thermal pastes and use them to repaste your computer now. The performance will just be basically as good as if you had gotten new thermal paste, which is kind of amazing if you think about it. So props to Noctua for making a product that you can really rely on. But if you're availing of our cleaning and cable management service in the shop, no worries because we are always using new thermal paste, new Noctua NTH1. So you can be rest assured that once you get back your clean rig from us that is brand new or basically brand new thermal paste because we do go through a large number of tubes because a lot of people are asking us to clean their computers. But if you still have your old thermal paste, odds are that's still pretty good. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually meron kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.